Okay, so another Wednesday, another recording, right? So, do I have some news to report? I do. Um, kind of good, kind of bad, depending on the situation. So, I still have not heard back from this banking job, and it's really starting to kind of piss me off. You know, they had their little technical issue, as I stated last week. They said, oh, we'll, go, we'll get back to you by the end of this week, which was last week. I'm like, okay, fine, cool, whatever. Shit happens. And Friday rolls around, nothing. And of course, Saturday, Sunday, they're not open. And Monday was holiday, Juneteenth, so they weren't open. But I still called on Monday just to leave a message on her work phone, just to say, hey, I just want to touch bases, give me an update, whatever, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, yesterday uh, I didn't hear anything, nothing, I don't know. It's just kind of frustrating because... I'm just so, so sick of having to like chase these jobs down. Like they're saying, well, you got to show interest. Like, yeah, I have, I, I clearly have. So I don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm just going to wait like a chump for them to call me back. I mean, does it take that much time out of your goddamn day to call back and say, Hey, decided to go with someone else. Thank you for applying. Or, Hey, we decided to go forward with you. Here we're going to set up for the second interview. You know, because you told me I was supposed to do a total of three interviews. This would be the initial one was with her, second one operations, third is branch manager. I've said this a billion times, but still. And it's like, you know, if you wanted, if you pick someone else, just call back. Have the courtesy to call back and say, hey, sorry, I had to go somewhere else. That way I could officially move on. But yeah, I'm pretty much done trying to contact them. If they want to contact me, they can contact me. If I get something else, then I get something else, you know. And if they want to interview me again, fine. You know, because if I get another job, but they still want to hire me, maybe I'll try to go for that one. Because I would like to work at a bank, and the job doesn't sound that bad. I actually feel like that would be a much better job than... <clears throat> having to work retail or food. Speaking of that, I did get a, another interview set up for Friday at a restaurant. I mean, I know I don't want to do that again, but my options are few. So I might have to just take this possible job offer. I mean, I haven't been offered a job yet. This is just an interview. But most likely when it comes to food jobs, they'll hire almost anyone any body <laughs> they need bodies to fill they'll bring someone in i have the experience they probably want to hire me over others but i know my friend told me he said yeah i heard about the restaurant the restaurant's not that bad they said the people are actually nice there and whatnot so and they do they are they are closed i think on tuesdays and wednesdays so we don't have to work every day like i actually would have nice two days off Unless they want me to come in and clean the restaurant on those days, which hopefully they don't. <laughs> but who knows? Um, it, it, as long as they're willing to be flexible with my scheduling, because I don't want to work until like 10 at night. I don't think they're opening up that late, but still. I, I reached a point in my life where I can't be like, oh, yeah, I'll work whenever you want me to work. Unless like I can literally walk to and from the job which is very rare up here and where I live, it's not really that feasible. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to like tell them like, you know, I only can work a set amount of time because I have to catch the bus. And I know I've been told from my sister and others like, Oh, you should just learn how to drive, get a car. Well, I live in California and it's very expensive to own a car, you know, get insurance. And of course the gas is out of control. And I do have a bit of a fear of driving, 
the bit the bit in me because I know I was learning to drive like maybe about a little almost like ten years ago. I know I'm old. I should know how to drive by now, but uh, I was taking lessons and I was doing okay. And then I decided, you know, drive my dad just not that far because he wanted to, just, you know, get me to practice just regular driving. And as I was pulling out, pull out of the driveway, and I was as I was turning, you know, because like you pull out and do like a basically like a three point turn. As I was trying to turn into, you know, the the street where I live, I just veered right into our wood fence. I didn't crash the car that badly. I didn't damage the car. It was fine. I damaged the fence pole. But like my dad yelled and I was like, yeah, that was it. That was the last time I drove. My dad's a very tense person to drive with because he's very like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't do that. Da, 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 da. You know. He's probably not the best person to have in the car with you. <laughs> I don't know. It could be just me, too. I, Yeah, so that was the last time I drove. Anyway, getting off track. Point is, I'm, I'm probably going to have to move on from this job. Unless they contact me today or tomorrow. And even then, I'll, try to, I'll probably have to go to this other interview just because, you know, in case this bank job doesn't come through, I can have this as a backup. And then I'll go from there. I also applied to another bank this morning. Uh, they haven't notified me yet because I just, again, I just did it as I woke up today. I don't know. I, I figure maybe they'll, maybe other banks will contact me now that maybe I have more experience in the office with, with the SPED job. I don't know. We'll see. I, I just got to keep plugging away. Um, Little bit of good news though that I could share is that actually I did get approved for some unemployment. I got a thing last night saying that they deposited money into my account. And the one I use for, you know, the D E D D. So I'm like, oh, so I guess my unemployment did go through. So I guess, yeah, I did get the call. Well, I, I missed the call, but then I called back and I was able to get a hold of the interviewer. For my location and you know he pretty much asked me the question like well why why were you let go like why did what did they say and i said they didn't really say anything they just said i wasn't a good fit that's all they said and i kept reiterating to that guy thinking the like so why didn't you ask or they, i said i said well i figured if even if i asked they would have just said the same thing that i was not a good fit because by law in california is that if I think it's the six months or if you're on probation. Oh, a game developed by Hot Gen for the GameCube oh, and Xbox. Hold on, sorry. The game I hit something. Hopefully that didn't pick up. <laughs> sorry. Um wonder if I should edit that in post. We'll see. Um so anyway, what was I on? Yeah, about unemployment. Yeah, he kept asking, asking, like, why did they fire you? Why did they fire you? And I said, I don't know. They said I wasn't a good fit. And I said, if you're on a probational period in California, they can fire you at will. And they don't need to explain why. It's basically a way to cover their asses because they don't want to get sued, I guess. Which is kind of fucked up because they could say, because they could secretly just not like you. Or they may not hire you because you are a man or a woman, or you might be a certain race they don't like, or you might be a certain sexuality you don't like, even though by law, they cannot discriminate by that. But this at will stuff is basically a protection from them to basically let you go. And like, I can understand on a surface level, if like you're a problematic employee and they say like, look, you're just too much. But I would think most employees would have the balls to say, look, you're just a problem. And like they can go after and like the person could go after and sue the company and then the company be like, okay, well then we'll go to the court with you too. And they could afford an actual lawyer. Although today everyone's so goddamn sue happy that the person, even if they were completely at fault as to why they were let go and they were, com and the company was completely justified in firing them, right? They could get sued and they could lose and they would have to pay an exorbitant amount of money 
to this prick and or they would have to sell out of court and that would cost the company money so some ways i can <clears throat> see the advantage of this but i think at the end of the day it kind of screws over people like me because they just want to just not have to deal with the headaches of firing or letting someone go or i guess they said well technically we didn't let you go we let you keep your job at the cafeteria which is not the job i wanted because i felt i was heading backwards and i didn't want to just go back so yeah maybe when he he said he was going to contact them and talk with them and see you know what the reason was and i guess maybe they just didn't have a good enough reason to tell him they just said uh he wasn't a good fit and he probably said well that's um not a good enough reason to just let someone go you have to give them maybe a better reason so even though i technically quit which would technically disqualify you from getting unemployment apparently i am one of those strange cases or exceptions that i was able to get something out of it it's not a lot of money i'll just let that be known but it's something it's something to keep me a little bit afloat while I keep looking for stuff. Uh, so, you know, small victories, right? Small victories. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. And I guess I'll have one more thing to talk about, and then I'll end it. Apparently, I got scammed. I didn't apparently got scammed. I got scammed, or almost got scammed, from a job. I applied to it, I think, late last week. Yeah. I think I applied on Friday. And I got, a, like, a contact about it on Saturday in an email saying, Hey. It was like some carrier drone. They said, Hey. We just want to know, which, which shift would you prefer? The morning shift or the later shift? I said, well, usually a morning shift is what I usually prefer. So I can get it done during the day and have the rest of the day a bit more because I hate working, you know, late nights. I do. And it's like, okay, you know. Then I got another email. And when you look at this email, it's full of grammatical errors and there's too much capitalization for like each letter when you read it at first. But the real the real kicker, well also it was mailed by a different person, even though it said, oh it was from Catalina or whatever. And it was like, oh it was someone else. Like, okay. But the real kicker and the real obvious um, scam part is that they're saying, well, we have to run a background check and it's very expensive to run these things. So we want you to sign up for the scene and blah, blah, blah. And like, oh, OK, <laughs> OK, you just kind of played your hand there. You know, unfortunately, some people, I guess, fall for it because it, they still do it. But free advice to everyone. If you see any time a job posting, you and if you apply for it, and then they ask you for money, or they ask you, you know, like says, oh, we'll, we'll deliver a package for you, blah, blah, blah. Kill it right away. Red flag, do not bother, because that is a scam. Any job that asks you to give money to, or they're going to, deliver packages to you or any of that bullshit fuck them no no because unfortunately they do that to take advantage of people like me who are desperate of, of finding work and so they're like so desperate like as well i said it doesn't sound legit but i have to find a job so i'm just going to do it anyway no do not do it because they will steal your banking information i had a friend and she did that and she got kind of scammed. Well, she got scammed out of her some of her money. Just don't don't do that. <laughs> as grim as it is trying to find work nowadays, don't fall for that. Okay, because it is illegal for companies to do that. Obviously, or it's not a legit company in the first place. You know, if they're gonna, they're asking for money. Or asking you to mail something to your house no do not do not fall for it it is not legit at all avoid it i even told him to go fuck <laughs> you know yeah so you know uh, 
it sucks that they do that, but you know, they took advantage of people during COVID. They take advantage of people with the whole Ukrainian war. Then so taking advantage of someone trying to find a job, like a schmuck like me, I, I I'm easy. I'm usually I'm supposedly easy prey, but of course I can read between the lines of all that stuff. So yeah, I guess that's it. Um, yeah, that's all I can really report right now. Hopefully next week there'll be some news that maybe I actually got some sort of work coming down the pipe. But I don't know. I've I've been applying to other places, even other retail, and yet they haven't even contacted me. So either A, these postings are just more ghost postings, or B, maybe they just they're not hiring. Maybe they already found someone. Because maybe I'm having like stiff competition right now. But yeah, you know, all I can do is keep plugging away and hopefully something drops in my lap one way or the other. All right. So you all take care and be safe. And I don't know if I'm going to be streaming anytime soon. I just not been motivated enough to do any Twitch streaming or anything. I'll maybe something later this week, maybe on the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. All right, that's it. Bye.